Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'm finally going to be getting around to finishing off the steering wheel here that I started a number of months ago, actually. A while ago, you saw me make the center spoke section for it, and now I'm going to uh, finish it off and make the wooden hoop uh, for the outer edge. I made this out of Ipe, which is a very strong, very dense hardwood, and I think it really looks great against the aluminum backdrop of the dashboard and the rest of the, the speedster there. And I think it also just really helps to tie together the whole um, cockpit area of the car and the dashboard and, and that sort of thing. And hopefully soon I'll also be able to start putting in some gauges on the dashboard. Um, I got my box of gauges here that I've been collecting over the past few months. Uh, but the one I'm really excited about right now um, is this ignition switch right here that, that I just got. Um, this is actually made by Aaron Loveless with Loveless Performance. Um, and he reached out to me, he's a fan of uh, the speedster that I'm building here, and offered to send me one of these um, ignition switches that he makes. This is one of his products that he uh, remanufactures that are designed for pre-war era speedsters and race cars um, and traditional hot rods and that sort of thing. And I think this is going to make a great addition to the dashboard um, of this car. So I'm going to leave links to his stuff in the description. Um, go check him out. I've actually been a fan of his for a number, a couple of years now, ever since he started remanufacturing the Frenzel superchargers for um, the Ford Flatheads. So links to all that in the description. Go check him out and enjoy the video. Okay, so now as you can see here, I've got all eight pieces that are going to make up the ring of the steering wheel laid out here. Um, each one of these is going to be one half of the steering wheel ring that will um, sandwich the metal part right in between them. And you can see I made all these little, these little slats here. And what these do is they fit right into those grooves that I just cut on the corners there. Of course, this will all be glued up, but then now that makes that joint uh, really strong once that's all glued up together. Um, that's not going to come apart. So the other thing you'll notice that I did is um, when I initially cut these planks and I, I cut them in half, I kept track of which two halves um, were together originally. So these two were together just like that. These two were together just like that. Same with these ones over here. And the only reason I did that is so that when you look at it, the wood grain is symmetrical on each side of the steering wheel. Um, that just makes it look a little nicer and more even to look at. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to glue all these up and then once the glue's nice and dry, I can um, carve everything to shape.
All right, so I got both halves of the wood now routed out so that they fit nice and snugly around um, the metal spokes here. You can see they just, just fit right on there. And this will, of course, all be glued together. You can see there's, there's no gap left there in between um, the two wood pieces. So what I need to do now is, of course, um, contour the edges of all around here. And I'm just gonna use the router for that. Uh, this is one inch thick. So a half inch radius bit um, will round this all out really nice and evenly. Uh, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna like step it up. I'll start with a uh, quarter inch radius and a three eighths and then I'll finish off with a half inch and then just a little bit of hand sanding after that um, should get me to where I wanna be. Okay, so I got the edges here all routed down to the 3 8 radius. Um, and what was kind of happening in some places is um, the, the wood was kind of chipping out, which I kind of knew was going to happen, but I was trying to be as gentle as I could with it um, in the certain places where the, where the grain is going, the direction that would make that happen. Um, but it was still kind of, kind of chipping out there, which isn't a big deal right now since I still have more material to remove but I didn't want to go to the, the full half inch radius and then have more chip out um, and then, then I'd be in a, in a more difficult situation. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna quit with the router right now and just kind of bring it closer to final size just using this um, orbital sander here with some, some fairly coarse sandpaper. So I'm gonna try that and see how that works. All right, so I got the wheel out of the clamps there. I cleaned up the, the glue that squeezed out along the edges, sanded it a little bit more too. Um, got it down to a pretty nice finish now. Just gonna put a little bit of oil varnish on it right now, and that should really um, bring out the color of the, the wood, and that'll be, that'll be pretty much it. All right, well that is the finished steering wheel now. 
I think it really turned out great. I've had this idea in my mind exactly how I wanted to do this for a number of months now, um, and it feels great to finally do a little bit of woodworking and have this all uh, come to life. And the center section here is the spoke section. That's gonna stay bare steel. Um, I just kinda sanded it up and polished it a little bit. I was gonna try to like nickel plate it, but I thought, I thought that's just not really gonna work. And I'll just keep a little bit of oil on it to keep it from rusting. And I think that'll be just fine. So, hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.